What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we're going to take a look at the Heisman race after week four of the college football season. Uh, we do have some, some pretty big changes this week. Uh, you know, it's, it's still very early so you can't look too much into this. A lot of football is left, but it's still fun to talk about. Uh, and it's very hard to narrow this down to 10 players. There are a lot of good players and sometimes you move a player out. Um, not because they did anything wrong, just because somebody else was a little better. Uh, and it has to do with the team success as well. So this is last week how we had it. We had Baker Mayfield at number one. Uh, you can take a look uh, at all of the players here. We dropped out a few players. Uh, actually, all three of those on the bottom. Sam Darnold, Royce, Freeman, and Cam Phillips. They all dropped out. Nothing that Freeman or Phillips really did wrong. Darnold uh, hasn't been all that great, so he's he's out of there. But uh, we just had two players, I think, that were better that were moved, moved in for those last two spots. Saquon Barkley now is number one on my Heisman race. Uh, he continues to just, I mean, he's just the, the most exciting player in college football besides maybe Lamar Jackson. And no, Baker Mayfield does not play for Penn State. I just made an error there on my um, graphic. That's because Barkley was at number two, so that's probably why that I forgot to change that part. So yeah, Baker Mayfield, I dropped him down to number two. Uh, he's still putting up big numbers. Nothing he did wrong, but you know, Barkley is just, man, he's unbelievable. And he does it in so many ways. Uh, catching the ball, running the ball, even in the return game. So I think he is, is going to lead the Heisman race right now. Definitely the best running back in college football. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Lamar Jackson hanging in there at number three. Uh, continues to just be Lamar Jackson. And Bryce Love, I've moved him back in, and I moved him way up because he had another big game, and he comfortably leads all of college football in rushing. I mean, he's got a, a pretty good gap on the number two player, uh, Rashad Penny. Mason Rudolph at number five, a tough loss for them. That's why he dropped a little bit. And speaking of Rashad Penny, he's at number six. He's not the leading rusher in college football anymore. Jonathan Taylor back in for Wisconsin. He continues to be impressive. Um, and I think he may be up there in, in a lot of the categories, the rushing categories. Uh, Will Greer for West Virginia continues to put up big numbers. And our last two are new, Luke Falk for Washington State. He's finally looking like the Luke Falk we expected to see putting up big time numbers there for Washington State. And how about this guy, Jalen Samuels of NC State. He is a tight end, but he plays running back, he plays receiver, he plays everything. Uh, and you look at the touchdowns he's scored from all these different areas. He doesn't necessarily have the yards that, you know, he doesn't lead. He's not up in the top of rushing or receiving or anything like that, but he is up at the top for touchdowns. And he's so versatile that I just, I don't think he deserves to be on here, at least for this week. And we'll see if he can continue. Uh, but he, I mean, he gave Florida State fits. They had trouble guarding him. And, you know, players like that, there's a lot of players that maybe I haven't seen a whole lot of. And I'm sorry, but there's just, I, I can't watch every single college football game. I usually watch uh, four or five games at a time. But still, you know, there's more than four or five games on at once. So it's impossible to watch every game. Uh, I try to keep up with everything uh, and try to, you know, check on scores and all that and stats. So, I realize that maybe there's some players that deserve to be here that maybe I'm missing. Uh, and anytime you guys let me know about a player, go ahead. That's fine. Uh, it kind of opens my eyes up to, to that player to check into that player. Uh, because, again, I'm a one-man operation. I don't have a team of people scouting all these teams, looking at, you know, watching every single game and all that stuff like some other people. Uh, it's just me watching football, and this is just my personal opinions uh, based off of what I've seen and based off of the stats. Uh, that I look up. So there you go. Saquon Barkley now number one with three new players on my Heisman race. Let me know who you think should be on here. Leave a comment down below and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.